leadership, first and foremost, is leaving no one behind and making everyone else's light shine. This whole experience is a really great opportunity for me to become the role model that I was missing when I started going into STEM. It's really important that future leaders build a better alliance in between the state and the companies and everything else. We are so fortunate to work in this amazing industry. And I assure you that the stars are yours if you follow them. I think indeed we could try, just try it, having more women out there leading and see how we can maybe make things better. We need global solutions uh, and, and therefore this leadership that focuses on commonalities rather uh, on differences. There are so many big global challenges mm -hmm. that require more than ever this global cooperation. How can we ensure that the new generations are going to have the same access to resources and opportunities as we have it today? To understand the technologies and understand how to govern it, the, the technologies are important. This is essential part of the leadership Technologies come with time, they differ, and they come with new challenges, and they come with new challenges in terms of security and privacy. Clearly, here and there, we see projects that are trying to tackle robotics in our daily lives, and that is also a big realm of ethical challenges. When we're tired, our barriers come down, and creativity comes, all right? So do numbers in the morning, do cool and creative stuff in the afternoon or in the evening. When they hear your personal, unique insights, that's when we think, ah, I couldn't hear this from anyone else. I feel extremely grateful, I feel happy to be here, and I feel inspired by all of my fellow colleagues. How important it is to have researchers in the field of artificial intelligence and cognitive science who uh, take a bit of a more human-centric perspective. The green challenge and the digital challenge, they're usually seen as two distinct issues, but they're actually go very well together because one holds uh, solutions for the other. There is no way we're going to develop super powerful technologies, etc. If we, if we screw the planet at the same time. EU climate law binds the EU Green Deal. So it actually legally binds every single um, EU member state to climate neutrality by 2050. We realize that our healthcare ecosystems are, are vulnerable. Now is the opportunity to really start a profound transition and transformation of our healthcare ecosystems and digitalization has a key role to play there. Technology is a tool. What it can do is that it can empower uh, conservationists, it can empower scientists, it can empower researchers. Technology doesn't exist on its own. It needs people to work out what problems they can use it for and how it can help solve the problems of the world. I think we have a huge challenge ahead of us and sustainability should be you know, an integral pillar of, of the solutions that we are looking at. Who makes the companies? Who makes the governments? It's us, the people. So I want all of us to actually commit to fight climate change, first on an individual basis. I strongly believe that the world is changing and that girls and women are finally becoming to take the place they deserve in society. I do believe that with people like that we have around this room today and all the collaborations, by the way, that I have heard that we are already ongoing, I do see a very sustainable future for us. 10% at least of the European Union's population mm -hmm. still being excluded, still being discriminated. You are part of, of any household where you are. Uh, you can make a big changes there. It is important to, to learn two things. One is to ask, and the other one is more difficult to achieve, and this is to listen. I don't remember when was the last time I felt so powerful and so close to myself. Law are not sufficient to improve decision-making on women is a matter of cultural changes and culture is changing if we all together work on equality. In general, any time you want to do an organizational cultural development or change or anything, start with changing beliefs, beliefs that go to actions and actions that go to results. The more voices you hear, the better policies you can make because you get different points of view. What literacy meant for the peace in the world, uh, you can imagine what digital skills mean today 
for maintaining peace and stability across the world. Everybody's on their phone all the time, but are you on your phone as a digitally equipped person understanding what's going on behind that phone? Digital tools can also provide solutions to address increased stress from uh, digitalization. I think particularly women in the health sector have a very important role to play also if we think about community. I see a lot of different innovations in this area which basically gives more power to us as humans in better understanding our own health. If we don't have research that's from the beginning is inclusive, in the end we have very low level of data. I think it's also important to, to have really a, a diverse field of, of healthcare innovation and there's still a lot of work to do still um, to, to get more female involvement in that and to also make the outcomes of this innovation also there for all equally. We have to anticipate just to be alert and follow the, the trend, follow the movement and be reassured that we will be part of the change because we will make the changes. The knowledge, what you can get and what you can you know, achieve through your, through your work is something that nobody can take it away for you. So educate also, learn. Technology is shaping lives, it's improving lifestyles. Uh, we need to uh, make it more inclusive, we need to provide it to all people all around the world. Work hard and always try to be the best, the best version of yourself every day and just let your work to speak on behalf of you. Never be too comfortable, like be competent, but never be too comfortable in what you're doing and always keep challenging yourself. If we don't take into account those inequalities, this divide, differences, inequalities could grow up. I truly believe that the social and educational origins of women, but also men, is a very important point to take into account when trying to, make, to improve the diversity and the inclusivity. And thank you uh, to Huawei also for organizing this uh, wonderful program on the Seeds for Future and European Leadership Academy, which promotes talents, especially women talents. I think that Huawei is doing this is amazing. I think all big tech firms should be doing it because this is really the way to inspire young women to get into tech. Tech is going to play a crucial role in our future and we should be aware of that, embrace it and really do uh, our best to incorporate it in our everyday lives. In a few years, maybe some of you will be the CEOs of tech companies, you know? Others? will be leading NGOs. Maybe one of you will be the president of the European Commission in a few decades. And then what? And then you will remember your peers. You will remember the other next-gen change makers. And you would be like, it all started in Nice.